We got some film on Tristan Wirfs. What's up, y'all? It's the Lombardi. We're watching Tristan Wirfs today, but you would know that if you were listening or you had your thinking cap on. Um, he is my tackle number four, guard number one. Okay? Some people think that guards are less inferior players than than tackles, and that's not necessarily true. Um, they're, they, they're both different. They do to, two totally different things, kind of, sort of. Um, guards are more responsible for inside, and inside things happen faster than outside things. Outside things are, you know, we're responsible for, you know, our left foot to the sideline. That's the entire C gap, unless the tight end, you know, comes in there and make a D gap. But at this point, we have a lot more room to read and react and there's a lot more room to make mistakes when we're talking about tackles here. Look at, look at how, how, how close 68 is to 54. Then look at the distance from 77 to, you know, Yatir gross, gross models right here. Right? So it's just, you know, can you operate in different scenarios? I think Tristan Wirfs operates better when he gets to be reactionary, big, strong, kind of quick dude, right? I don't want him outside in some footwork match with a super twitchy, you know, pass rushy gangster guy. I don't want that. I would rather him being inside mauling people. Um, now, can he develop and be a good outside player? Can you know? Can he get some coaching and can he be the future of tackle one day? Possibly. He actually has some Iowa film of him playing left tackle, but we're not gonna watch that today because I encourage y'all to watch film on your own damn self, right? But um, I think Tristan Wirfs can come in and help you day one. As a guard. And he could be a day one tackle too, but he'll be a better guard. Let's run it for the cardio. Um, now let's talk about him as a as a run blocker, right? Big powerful dude. I think he's good with his feet in the run game in terms of he can get to his landmarks. Whether it's run game or passing game, Tristan Wirfs can always get to his landmarks. Okay, we just got to talk about some of the things that he do when he gets to those landmarks. You know what I mean? I want him to sustain blocks a little better, right? Um, to not just kind of let guys go after you block them. Take a look at this play. For example, Tristan Wirfs right here. He's going to come off the ball and get a pretty good start on this guy. He, you know, pretty good movement, pretty good engagement. He's lined up at a two. So Tristan Wirfs did some pretty good traveling to get there, but he didn't do everything to continue this block here. He didn't necessarily get his head all the way on the other side of the shoulder there. He didn't fight to reestablish those hands inside of the chest plate. He kind of got his back right here, right? Tristan Wirtz got his right hand on the back of the tackle here. Let me rewind it. And you see his, his right hand just ends up on his on the uh, back of this tackle here. We want you to get more play side of that guy so you can fully cut him off, Tristan Wirtz. But he didn't do that, so... 55 just kind of kept running. Now, 55 didn't make the play, but what if this was a gangster on the next level? What if this was like Jaron Reed or Aaron Donald or something, and you just didn't finish that block and you let that dude run free? All these things matter. Um, but besides that, though, hey, <laughs> he is a pretty good initial blocker, but if you can teach him to finish, you can teach him to you know, get his head on the right side, man, he'll be just fine. Talking about his movement, take a look at Tristan Wirfs right here. I love this. We're on the goal line. We zone stepping to the left. Cover the old boy up. I love this. He's, he's going to cover number 18. Pop, pop, pop. Good step. To get to the outside. He's going to dip and rip that arm. He's just going to cut 18 all the way off. Fantastic, Tristan Wirfs. However, I, I, I kind of would have liked for you to finish. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we just kind of got in front of him, cut him off, and let him go. We don't know what that cutback lane would you know, was like because, to be fair, Gross Matos tore it up up front. Now, honestly, he tore it up, and he forced the running back to kind of cut back a little bit. What if the running back cuts back and runs into your guy, Tristan Wirfs? You see what I mean? I don't mind this because this is actually O-line technique. You know what I mean? Just just kind of rip your arm just to you know keep in front of him. I don't mind the actual technique that you use. I just want you to, after you rip in front of him, square back up and finish him. And another example, Tristan Wirfs here, boom. Good movement. We're going to start good. But 42 never got a chance to come off because Tristan Wirth never overtook this, this block properly, right? What we want to happen in this combo scenario, we're comboing, I think... Yeah, okay, cool. We're comboing... Yeah, 74 and 42 are comboing this defensive end to 38, right? So we're taking them, 
taking him. What 42 needs is for Tristan Wirfs to fully cover him up. He needs to run those feet a little bit more to get on the shoulder that 42 is on. That's to Tristan's right. That's to the defender's left, right? We need Tristan Wirfs to get on the outside shoulder so 42 can be free to move on to his next block. But 42 can't leave this block because Tristan Wirfs never really fully overtook him. You see what I mean? If 42 leaves and Tristan Wirfs don't overtake, then, you know, then the end just comes off and make a tackle on number 10 right here. We don't want that. You know what I mean? Just small little stuff like that. So Tristan Wirfs is a solid pass blocker. Um, he has the ability to travel really well and to get wherever he wants. It just, you know, is all about what happens when he gets there, right? Let's take a look at this example, which is which is all good though, right? He's gonna travel pretty okay. It could be better. It's not perfect, but it's cool. Um, pretty good length there, right? Check out the length on the arms, man. That's gonna help him a lot in the in the uh in the uh, national football league there, being able to have arm length to get hands on guys before they get hands on you. You know what I mean? Um, I don't have a problem with this block. <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned uh what about here right same thing i think if he can get his hands on you first he can kind of have a good gauge of where you at like i said the technique here ain't perfect right kind of get the shoulders over the toes a little bit i hate it i kind of want that head back a little bit more get that out the fight but he blocks him enough to do his job let's see what happens here hey the length kind of saved him again Whew. Every now and then this happens though. <laughs> and when I say every now and then, you know, it it this this happens a lot. Take a look at Tristan Wirfs and what happens to him right here. Oh boy. And Penn State notice. What the hell the referee doing? Get out the way. See that's what you get. That that that's what you get. Trying to be a linebacker again. Trying to live vicariously through these young Penn State gangsters. See what I mean? Get out the way. Anyway, um Tristan Wirfs, right? Travel, 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 travel. Ooh, now what? What happens when something that I'm not anticipating happens? What happens when I have to react? What happens when things kind of kind of go off script and I'm not just in a in a, a wrestling match anymore? I have to pick the correct technique, the right steps, the right trap cards. What happens when I have to do that? Think bad things kind of happen for Tristan Wirfs in that way, which is kind of why I wish he was on the inside. See, this don't happen on the inside, right? If this was inside. It's a lot less space between Tristan and where his right tackle would be, right? You see what I mean? It's, if it's in the inside, you want to do a whole bunch of movement, things just kind of get washed down and it's easier to see. But, whew, look at how far, first of all, we lunging right here. We Look at how far he is over his toes. We're not powerful right there. We're not powerful like this at all. Our knees ain't big. How you long, straight, and leaning? That ain't good for business, my guy. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. Let's see what he's doing against Yeter Gross Matos right here. Let's see. And, you know, after a while, Penn State just understood that 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 Tristan Wirtz had a problem with, you know, gap exchanges and movements and slants. And, and at the end of the game, they did nothing but that towards the end. And what happens here, right? Going to get a little bit of a lean. Our hands are going to be late. Ugh. You can tell he was leaning because he overextended right there. Take a look at him. See how he just kind of gets off balance right there, and he and he and he can't get back inside. Now, what I want Tristan Wirfs to do, and you know maybe uh you know because you got to see things for your brain to register for your body to do it. It starts with your eyes. So if Tristan is going to kick, 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 what we want for him to do is when Gross Matos goes back inside, we want him to pound his post foot. That's his left foot, his up foot or whatever, right? We want him to pound that thing back inside. That'll keep him square. It'll keep him balanced. And, you know, it'll it'll keep him honest to his to his technique. What I mean by honest to his technique. If you um if he drops this right foot and he misses, then he's off balance. He's off balance anyway. See how he dropped his right foot right there and he missed? 
and then he gets off balance. But if he keeps his post foot up, that's his power foot. His his left foot is his power side. So if Gross Matos crosses his face and ends up on worse power side, he's cool because I got power there. My post foot is up. My post foot is stuck in the ground. It's cool. But <laughs> you drop your post foot and you leaning and you guessing bad things happen to Tristan Wirfs here. Like I said, man, Penn State realized Tristan Wirfs did bad with with movement in front of him. And, oh, boy, before you know it, they just started doing all kind of stunts to get Tristan Wirfs about the paint. <laughs> and it kept working. I think Penn State won this game because they couldn't they couldn't deal with the stunts up front. Oh, boy, Tristan Wirfs. And, and you know what? That probably it, it comes from. Um, you know, Tristan not trusting his his hands and his feet, right? Because if he did, he'll be a lot more patient. You know, um, if you're an offensive lineman and you don't trust your hands and your feet, you say, okay, cool, I'm just gonna use power, put hands on you, grab you, and I ain't gotta read and react. But Tristan, where sometimes you gotta read and react. This is a situation where you gotta read and react. Boom, 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 boom. Kick. When you see 49 crossing face, don't attack 49 crossing face. Because if you do, your shoulders get turned. See Tristan Worth's shoulders get turned. 11 get the run free. 11 get the run free now. Because you turn your shoulders because you overreacted to 49. What you do is you kick, 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 kick. Your left hand is going to be free. Bop. He's going to pass along across your face. Now, Tristan Wirfs, you pass him along, stay square, but you keep your right hand free now. Now that your right hand is free, you're able to react, pass 49 along, and then engage with 11. But that didn't happen because you turned your shoulders. You see what I mean? They just kept doing it. <laughs> Boy, Penn State. Just kept doing it. Same thing. Take a look at Tristan's left foot right here, right? We talk about left foot. We talk about post foot. You want to keep that foot up. That's your power foot. You travel with the other one. Tristan is going to travel, travel. 18 is going to cross face. He's going to drop his post foot. Now we got to guess. Now we off balance. Now we trying to strike. Now we leaning. And now 97 get the run free and your quarterback cussing somebody out. You see what I mean? So, it's a lot of technical stuff that you got to deal with, man. And and I and I I I'll tell you what, chat box. I know y'all y'all know this because y'all got all the answers. The infamous Google. Can somebody tell me how long Tristan Wirfs been starting at tackle? Because reps can fix reps can fix this. The more he plays right tackle, the more he'll relax and the more he'll see things quicker and he'll slow things down a little bit. But if he's outside and he's reacting, <laughs> and that happens. <laughs> Oh man, Tristan will be good. Tristan will be cool though. Tristan will be cool. We got another play? Get that out of there. We got another play? What happened? Let's see what happens on this play. Same thing, man. Same thing. Moving on. Um It comes with reps, man. It comes with reps. It comes with time. And the more Tristan worse plays, the better he'll be. Now, what makes him better than the next tier of guys? Um, is I think Tristan can do it. I think Tristan can do it, and he does have the tools to do it. You know, you look at the 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 next few guys, in my opinion. I said Tristan is my offensive tackle four. So the next two guys would be Austin Jackson and uh, Josh Jones. Austin from USC, Josh Jones from Houston or whatever. What makes Tristan different? Well, I think all three of those guys have good feet. So that's one thing that makes him similar. But what separates Tristan from those other two guys is I think Tristan is a lot more physical. I think Tristan um, is more powerful than those guys. I think Tristan has the tenacity, tenacity to do it. Plus, if this whole tackle thing don't work, put his big ass inside and just let him just let him grab people. Put him inside and let him grab people, and you won't lose a night of sleep. Okay. Um, I showed you plenty of examples of what happens when he's on the outside. Well, you know, if you don't want him dealing with outside quick, twitchy, fasty people, then put him inside with some slower people that he's faster than. And maybe it'll slow down for him. I think Tristan Wirth's got a lot of natural gifts. He just needs a little coaching. He needs a little taming. And I think that's the difference between him, Josh, and um, Austin or whatever. But that's just my personal opinion. Tristan Wirth's my guard number one, man. But I think he's super versatile. If If I'm – I'll take him. You know, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cowboy fan. I was talking about that. If he's on the clock at, at 17, that's a steal for me because you plug his ass in at, at guard day one and let him fly. And then if anything happens to your tackles in the future, you develop him um, to to use that size, to use that length, to use that movement and quickness. And then next thing you know, 
you have a tackle for your future. I don't want to hold y'all too, too long, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm Vash Lombardi. Uh, follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. The Patreon is a thing, too. All those links are in the description. I'm about to get back into my merch, even though you can buy some of my current merch. That link is also in the description. I'm getting some new designs soon. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Wolfskin and Peace Ski Whiskey, man. Peace.